Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Thank you very much to all of you who follow me here and on TikTok and on Instagram. You guys are amazing. I get a lot of questions like, what is the difference between all my platforms? Well, um, just a little rundown for you guys to kind of know. YouTube is a mixed bag um, and it's only three times a week. If I do more, it's because I have free time. But TikTok is where the love readings are at and it's where um, as well as the horoscopes are and that is where as well general readings will be there. Instagram is more on a daily. I'm there daily pulling daily um, readings and guidance for everyone and except weekends because that is my day off um, and Facebook is the same as Instagram in case you don't have face, uh, Instagram you have facebook and yeah that's a little bit of the difference there um, but thank you very much if you are you know following me on any of those pages or if you're following me on all of those pages i appreciate it and i say thank you from the bottom of my heart and uh, with that being said i do want to give a huge shout out to jess puckett um i love her channel you guys she is amazing i've had a personal reading with her i don't know if she remembers or not but she is amazing you guys definitely go check her out uh, she definitely knows a lot about vedic astrology and every time I'm feeling a little bit confused or wanting um, some type of, you know, guidance, I go to her. She's my go-to. So again, Jess Puckett, hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly, um, definitely check her out. So today's pick a card is going to be all about how do your guides communicate with you specifically, okay, depending on the pile that you choose. So if you've been asking yourself, like, how do our guides or how does my guides communicate with me? Well, then this is your reading. Remember that these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Remember that our guides communicate differently with every single one of us. And I do believe that guides come in and out. We do have a main guide, but we also have guides that step in and out that, you know, come in on a need basis. And if you've gotten a personal reading with me, where um, the meet your guides reading, you know, I look into that specifically and you are very aware of how I view our guides. But nonetheless, this reading is about how do your guides communicate with you. And if you are part of this beautiful family that we have created together, thank you very much. If you're not and you would like to be, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. All the information, timestamps on my social media, how to book a reading, all of that is always in the description box below. With that being said, let's get started with pile number one if you feel like you need more time feel free to pause the video whenever you are ready click play and fast forward to your selected option let's start with pile number one so pile number one let's see how do your guides communicate with you pile number one i'm getting this creative energy i feel with you guys you have this like medium toolbox I don't know why I'm getting that. I feel like you have so many gifts and your guides communicate through so many forms. Like there is not just a one way of communicating with you. Pile number one. So I do feel like those of you, my beautiful viewers who are or who picked pile number one. I do feel that you're very much um, your crown chakra is very open. You're very gifted. And I feel like you're very creative. I'm getting army here, so I don't know if some of you have been in the army, but I'm getting like a uh, like a badge. I'm seeing a badge here. I'm also getting painting as well. Sorry, you guys, putting my phone on low volume for a lot of you your guides communicate as well through your phone so they might be messing up your phone but you're very linked with spirit i feel for a lot of you when you create this space or like when you're in the sacred space when you're saging that's when you're most connected with your guides as well as i feel here i'm getting a lot of like patronism i, I don't know why i'm also getting music and i'm also getting flowers here and colors. I feel like your guides communicate with you 
through color. So it might be that at certain times you might find yourself wearing a lot of green. Um, and they're saying it's because that is your vibration that you're currently on, like in your aura or in does the vibration like that you're in. So if it's red, you know, you're needing to be more assertive. Maybe watch your, your temper a little bit. You might see that maybe you're wearing a lot of green. That means you're attracting a lot of abundance or needing to do a lot of heart chakra healing. Okay, because they're saying through your colors, like we show you colors. I'm also getting as well like a particular flower. Maybe you see roses all the time like at certain points or maybe you see a lot of tulips or you feel drawn to tulips and all of a sudden you're like wait why am I so drawn to them okay your guides are saying that's the way we communicate through music too okay so maybe you find yourself driving and you're asking or you're talking in your mind with your guides or you're praying and all of a sudden there's a song that seems to describe exactly what you're going through okay or there's lyrics as well through poetry as well I'm getting music very heavily You're like, your guides communicate with you, especially when you're in these periods of stillness, okay? That's what I'm picking up here. Yes, with the colors, yellow, absolutely. So for a lot of you, maybe maybe your favorite color is yellow, okay? I feel like also your guides communicate with you a lot through butterflies and bees specifically or yellow flowers. And I feel here, again, they're telling you the colors that you feel drawn to. Your guides are saying, so if you're asking like, should I do this? And you're being drawn to a lot of yellow, then that would be like, yes, this is a good opportunity for you. This is happiness. This is joy. Go for it. Um, and they're saying, if you like are asking for something and you're drawn to a lot of black, they're saying, protect yourself. That's not good. Okay. Something like that. They're saying we use colors to kind of connect you to our, our messages. Okay. Because they're saying we help you, especially pile number one. I feel like there is a lot going on here with people around you because they're showing me, they're saying people around you become more aware of the people around you and your surroundings. And they're saying pay attention to the colors either that pop up in your mind or maybe the person that you're talking to is wearing a certain color and that like your eye kind of like just goes through that, goes to that color. They're saying pay attention to that, okay? Because a lot of you, I feel like I said that there has to do with people around you. I feel like your guides are saying sometimes you tend to draw in a lot of karmic friends or partners. And again, flowers, right? We have the sun. You guys, I feel like your guides communicate a lot through this sun energy, through this um, yellow energy here. Particularly like maybe you see pictures of the sun all the time and like your you know ig feed or things like that owls as well is another it's another sign from your guides okay we have here peace yeah i feel like whenever you're going through periods of change or whenever you're going through karmic cycles in your life, I feel like your guides come in and they show you these colors, okay? Or they communicate with you. And I feel like your guides are wanting you to pay more attention to, as well, the birds that show up in your life. Because we do have a dove here and then we do have an owl. And also you might see eggs as well. So maybe you see crystals in the shape of an egg, okay? Again, flowers, petals, and colors for sure yeah for you guys is all about your energy and butterflies you guys are very connected to the solar energy to your solar plexus as well because i'm getting this energy of like you guys are very connected like you guys feel a lot of energy that's why i feel like you guys are a mixed bag of things because your guides are saying you guys feel a lot and because you guys feel a lot from a lot of things, it might be hard for you to pinpoint exactly what it is that your guides are trying to tell you, especially if you're like in a group of people or like your environment, um, it's uh, very loud. They're saying that sometimes it's hard for you to narrow it down what they're trying to say. And that's why they're saying a lot of our messages come in the night, like the owl 
And a lot of our messages come as well when you're in stillness, okay? When you're in stillness. And you get messages throughout daytime too because I'm being drawn to the sun. So you're getting messages all the time, pile number one. And I feel like it's hard for you sometimes to just find some peace in your day-to-day -day and just connect because I feel like your guides are saying connect more with yourself. Find moments of stillness so that you can hear us better. Again, you're very linked with spirit. Yeah, you guys are always working. You guys are always working. I feel like you guys have mastered something. Okay, and you guys are really good at what you guys do. And I feel like your guides are saying because you're always working or because you're always doing something. And again, the yellow. There's a lot of yellow here. So this might be a color that you're seeing currently right now. But your, your guides are saying you have this inner knowing. You're very claircognizant okay and you're able to see energy and your guides are saying that is how we communicate with you and each one of you has their own unique way in how you send spirit you just gotta trust that it's the right way for you so pile number one you guys are very diverse that's why i said you guys are like a mixed bag here and a lot of you want to seek validation but the thing is, your guides are saying your connection with us is so unique that it's hard for you to find validation other than within yourself. A lot of you, you're able, your guides are saying we give you information all the time. You receive messages all the time. For a lot of you, if you want to practice this with someone that you're, that you have trust with, you can do this. Okay, so you can kind of like maybe just practice with them for you to find validation within yourself. You might get things like, um, your guides are saying you get information like names, jobs, hobbies, just very important information. You're able to blend with spirit. It's so interesting, pile number one. Very, very interesting, especially in those moments when you're like praying. You have a lot of evidence from spirit I'm getting here. You're able to scan energy too. And that's how your guides communicate. Like I said, it's very different for every single one of you, but it's like you do get validation. Like I feel like out of all the piles, you get validation for, for what you perceive. And again, flowers is, is a big one here. Okay. Let me pull the other cards here. We have dolphin. And for a lot of you, you've been working on this connection with source. It's like, I feel like, this is something that you constantly do either for your work. So you might be a tarot reader. Um, you might be a healer of some kind. Okay. Or you just might be someone who's very intuitive. And this is something that you constantly practice all the time. But again, you're very connected to cosmic consciousness. You are. And I feel like when you stop and you breathe and you connect with your inner peace, you're able to pick up on the messages a lot more faster and more clear, okay? So for you guys, I feel like pile number one is not so much how your guys communicate, is knowing when to hear them the most, because I feel like you have a lot coming through, a lot, and I, I feel like it might be even overwhelming for you, pile number one, and so your guys are saying it's not how we communicate with you, it's more along the lines of like, Make sure you take time to breathe because you're always very busy, pile number one. And sometimes they're like, we've always given you messages. And again, animals are very important. So maybe you see a lot of dolphins as well. That may be a confirmation for you. And also through sacred geometry. And we have here silver goddess inside. Yeah, you guys are very intuitive very very intuitive and again color silver it's like a lot of color geometry 
um, animal totems. It's like you get a little bit of everything, even through people. It's like you have a lot of insight, especially at nighttime or in your dreams. I feel like you constantly have a lot of guides. I feel like you are with all this yellow energy pile number one. I feel like you have not only one guide, but you have many, many guides. You're like a phone. You're like a phone. Yeah, I would say that. You're like a bridge. Like there's a lot of guides communicating with you all the time. And it's not only your guides, but other people's guides. And I feel like your guides are saying make sure you take time to replenish self-care is very important again it's not that you, it's not how you receive messages so much for you guys it's so much um it's more about you know you are receiving so much to the point that maybe you dive into your work to kind of shut it off a little bit but it's more about replenishing yourself and you get a lot of messages through your body so you have a little bit of everything. You're claircognizant. I feel like you're someone who is very clairvoyant as well um, and very clairsentient. You're able to feel people's energy. But when you kind of like take some time out to meditate, to do yoga or to do some type of body care or even in your night's sleep, that is when you hear your soul, your guides, your higher self, the strongest. Okay, and many of you are mediums. Again, butterflies and the colors. Colors are very important. You're going to see what you're drawn to. Okay, they're saying we communicate with you through colors. So if you're seeing that you're, you know, you're drawn to a lot of, let's say, purple. Okay, purple is a very intuitive color for me. It's a very much a color of power, right? Whatever the color means to you, that is what your guides are wanting you to. That is the message for them, from them to you. Okay, pile number one. So that is what I have for you. That is how your guides communicate with you. Again, they communicate with you a lot. You're always receiving soul guidance, like always. And butterflies is a big one here. Butterflies and flowers. Yeah, I feel like you guys have all the senses, all the psychic senses. And I feel like they're just saying, follow your gut because you receive a lot. You do. And I feel like sometimes you tend to overanalyze this, especially when you're like, even when you're working, I feel like you receive a lot of messages. Even through books is what I'm getting here. So the things that in music, music is very important. Okay, pile number one. So that is how your guides communicate with you. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Thank you if you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. And I will catch you guys next time. Stay safe. Bye. Pile number two let's see pile number two how do your guides communicate with you i'm getting child through children through children and when you're doing childlike things okay so for example when you're drawing you're painting or you're connecting with your inner child when you're having fun when you like let go of your responsibilities in some way and you just allow yourself to chill that is when your guides communicate with you. But I'm also getting this energy of like they use children. So if you have children, they use your children. If you work with children, again, they use they use um, kids. They use people who are younger than you as well. Yeah, because I feel like for pile number two, there's, yeah, there's a lot of children energy around you. It's like they use their they use these um. <laughs> they use these kids to kind of remind you of your potential. That everything is possible. Like they bring inspiration through them. And they help you see like all the beauty, okay, in the world. Especially I feel like they connect with you the strongest. Or you're going to see that the messages come in stronger when you're in this energy of depression or disbelief. Or pessimism. Like they're saying whenever you feel like, oh my god, you know. I should just give up on this or I should not continue this. This is when the messages start coming in. 
They keep you determined. They, they communicate a lot with sunflowers. I'm getting sunflowers and I'm also getting those uh, flowers that when you, I don't know what they're called. Are they dandelion? When you blow and you, like you make a wish. I don't know what they're called. As well, when you're becoming very dependent on others, okay, or when you're needing physical security, this is when all these messages come in. Whenever you're in this energy of like the martyr in some way, whenever you're feeling like you cannot or you're in the self-pity energy, that is when they come in the strongest. That is when they communicate with you. Through automatic writing as well, okay? So pile number two through automatic writing or people who just randomly message you or quotes that you get on instagram things like this okay we have blue madonna and mothering yeah this mother child type of energy here time for rapid growth rise through birds through feathers okay through the symbol of uh, this eye, like the evil eye, you're very guarded. They communicate with you through the color blue for sure, okay? Through your throat chakra, through any form of communication, whether this be poetry, um, emails, text messaging, or even things like spirit is saying like ads. <laughs> I don't know, but they're saying through ads. Oh, more blue. Happy, happy. For a lot of you, they show you balloons, okay, of a certain color as well. Three of Wands. Yeah, when you're in this energy of wanting to expand, but for whatever reason you feel like you cannot expand or you feel like, you know, I'm waiting and I'm tired of waiting, maybe I should do something else, this is when your guides come in. Whenever you feel like you're in this, like, stop. Especially financially. Again, and I feel like they come in whenever you're in this energy of happy, happy. Like when you're in this and when you're expressing your inner child, that is when they give you all these messages. And again, they might show you balloons. Um, they might show you the color blue. They might show you feathers. You might get a lot of feathers or birds, things like hawk as well. You might get the evil eye symbol as well. Okay. Like I said, colors, the color blue, I think I already mentioned that fire opal so maybe even through crystals you might see a particular crystal and i feel like they do this to bring you in confidence you might see repetitive numbers as well and they communicate with you especially through the new moons when you connect with self yes when you want to expand i feel like your guides are saying whenever you want to expand and you like come up with something with any type of obstacle it's like you get discouraged, pile number two, okay? You get discouraged whenever you come to this pause and you're just like, wait, maybe that's not for me. And your guides are saying, no, that is just a wait, okay? That is just a, just, just wait. It just means it's not time or there's certain things that need to fall into place because I feel like you lose confidence and that's where this childlike energy comes in. That's why they use, if you work with children, um, they give you random comments or random messages, okay? Or um, because they, they want to help you believe. They want to help you see, you know, that anything is possible. Help you see the potential. Yeah, because they're saying, we want to open your eyes to a new perspective. Let's see here. For a lot of you, you're very clear audience, okay? Because they're saying you hear sounds or certain music that play in your head. And they're saying that's the way we communicate with you. I feel like pile number two, the way you, you will communicate with them in a like stronger, like strengthen the connection is for you to be receptive. Because they're saying all our messages are for you to open yourself up to new ideas to be willing to try different things and different methods so you have to be more receptive for a lot of you the number 18 is very significant i don't know if this is a number that your guides show you all the time okay or images of eclipses i don't know why i'm getting that as well 
<clears throat> yeah, for a lot of you, you're through your thoughts. Your guides communicate with you through your thoughts. Oh my God. It's like you have this tele telepathic communication. Again, they're saying parents and children. I don't know. Maybe you have a, a telepathic communication with your children and your guides send you messages through them. I know that sounds kind of scary, but this has happened to me with my children all the time. Uh, my kids all of a sudden tell me something that I was thinking in my head. There was no way they knew this situation and they just bring in confirmation for me. Or they're playing, um, the oldest is playing with the youngest and all of a sudden I hear them say, yes, go for it. And I'm like, were you talking to me? They're like, no, but it was there. It's like a confirmation for you. You might hear them utter something, okay, at the exact time that you needed that confirmation or this might be through family members for a lot of you because i'm getting parent and children dynamic here but it doesn't have to be just parent and children it could be with your niece with your nephews cousins um your parents your grandparents your uncles you know with family Yeah, and a lot of you are very clear audience. I'm getting clear audience, especially when you're connected around water. If you want to work with fire opal as well, it would be very good. Your guides are saying we communicate with you through moments of gratitude. That's what I was saying. Like when you allow yourself to just have fun, when you allow yourself to, you know, disengage from your day to day. This is when they're able to communicate with you even more. And they're saying through human angels, through human angels. So this is letting me know through people that you meet, you know, through, through people that you meet. It could be, again, if you work with children and you're a teacher, maybe a parent of a child, you know, you have a parent conference and they tell you something that you needed to hear at that time. And there was no way that that parent would have known you know what you were thinking of or something like this or maybe a friend or a family member also through your body for a lot of you as well you're able to have out of body experiences is what i'm getting and your guides also communicate with you through symbols okay through symbols so Again, you might see like, for example, I don't know, an anchor as to kind of remind you to ground yourself, to ground your energy or that's secure, that's stable, right? It's like through a picture. A picture is worth a thousand words. <clears throat> For a lot of you, your guides also communicate with you through memories, childhood memories okay whenever you're asking for guidance you might get a pleasant memory from your childhood and your guides are saying that is the way I kind of let you know, you know, that it's okay, that that situation that you're thinking about, it's okay, it's going to be good, it's going to make you happy and fulfilled. For others of you, it might remind you of a childhood memory that wasn't pleasant, that made, that made you feel maybe powerless or made you feel um, abandoned or something like that. And your guide just saying, okay, that's a way for us to let you know, like, that's not good or that situation is not going to be good for you. So they're saying, pay attention to the pictures that we send you to the memories that come up in certain circumstances. And this doesn't have to be just childhood memories. This can be a particular memory, but they're saying, pay attention to how you feel, how you felt at that time, at that particular memory that you had. Hopefully that makes sense. But for a lot of you, yes, feathers. Feathers. You get a lot of feathers. Yes, and you're very clear audience. I don't know who needed to hear that, but you're very clear audience. I get that question asked a lot because I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I always say I'm hearing spirits say, even here. And people are like, do you literally hear voices? And I'm like, no, no, I don't. It's more like a... It's like an inner hearing, okay? It's, you can hear like names, dates... Um, certain sayings, you know, certain um, lyrics, certain phrases. Okay, but it's your own voice. Kind of like when you're, when you're, the best way I can describe it is like when you are thinking through something or trying to problem solve something. You know how you go through certain things in your head and you're like, okay, well, if I do this or that, this will lead me to this. Kind of like that. It's like, it's like your own voice. 
Um, and I feel for a lot of you, you have that and you might be a little bit scared or you might think, you know, like something is wrong, but you guys are saying, no, we communicate with you. For a lot of you, you might even hear certain songs just replaying in your head. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm getting... For a lot of you, you get a lot of inspirational quotes. There's a lot of... Your guides communicate with you through inspirational quotes or inspirational thoughts. So whenever you're doing something and you just all of a sudden think of an inspirational quote or something that inspires you and you're like, where did that come from? That was random. That had nothing to do... For example, let's say you're playing. You're playing Nintendo, okay? Or you're playing... Um, PS5 and you're all of a sudden you know you hear a quote in your head and you're just like wait that has nothing to do with Mortal Kombat or that has nothing to do with the game that I'm playing and your guys are saying that was us okay whenever you you get something that has nothing to do with what you are currently doing okay you're playing basketball for example and all of a sudden you get this quote again that that's spirit right there okay that's spirit <laughs> Or you might get a name all of a sudden. You're playing basketball and you might hear like, oh, for example, Anna. And you're just like, wait, where did that come from? I wasn't thinking about Anna. I was over here playing basketball. Well, maybe, you know, later you hear that, oh, Anna contacts you. Or Anna has something to tell you or something happened to Anna. Things like that, okay? So, again, how your guides communicate with you. Those are some of the ways that they do. When do they communicate with you? Again, when you're feeling very isolated, when you're feeling alone, when you're feeling like you're not progressing, when you're feeling that you're wanting rapid growth or you're facing some type of obstacle and you feel vulnerable or unprotected. For a lot of you, they also communicate with you through moons, okay? Images of the moon. Um, but... Yeah, and you feel them especially at night as well, through crystals as well, or when you take time to just play and relax. So that is what I have for you guys. If it resonated, hit that like button, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you to all of you who follow me on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. I appreciate it. And on my Patreon, that is where I post exclusive content for $3 a month. So with that being said, I will let you guys go. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye. So pile number three, I'm getting writing, writing, okay? I'm getting through like um, how your guides communicate with you is through initials. So you might like see license plate, okay? And you might see, for example, SJ, or you might see GG, or you might see um, BJ. I don't know why I'm getting BJ, but you might see BJ, RR, like just initials, okay? Anagrams, I think that's what they're called, anagrams. For a lot of you as well, I'm getting numbers and through writing, through journaling, okay, is what I'm picking up here. As well as when you're in a, mo in a period of trance, when you're dancing, okay, when you're moving your body and you're just letting it flow, that's when your guides communicate with you. That is how your guides communicate with you, through some type of journaling process, okay? So either you're a writer or you just like to journal, also through the pictures that you draw as well, okay? They're saying when you just draw, you're sketching. They're saying pay attention to the things that you're drawing because there's a message for you there. For a lot of you, I feel like sometimes you kind of brush that off and you're like, no, that's not, no. And they're saying, no, yes, <laughs> They're saying some of you need to look back at your journals because there is information there for you. For a lot of you, maybe you feel like you write too fast and you're like, it's too cursive. I don't understand it. Or it's, that's usually with automatic writing that happens that way. But again, for some of you through music, through some form of creative expression. So for some of you, this is going to be writing. For others of you, this is going to be through um, painting. Okay, there's different forms of creative expression. Again, through dancing is coming up a lot. So I don't know if you guys are dancers. 
But when you dance, you get into this, this energy of trance. And that happens even when you're doing something creative for yourself. For a lot of your guides communicate with you through candles. So if you burn candles, you can read the flame, how it flickers, how it burns. Okay, that's another way how your guides communicate with you. Um, another way as well is they're saying through your incense, you see how the smoke, how it spins through the left or to the right. For others of you, through a particular part of your body. I don't know why, but they're saying like sometimes you get like, I don't know, spasm in your legs or you get like tinkles, uh, not tinkles, is that even the word? No, like, um, uh, like you get like goosebumps or you get things like, you know, you get cold or you get hot flashes or you get like a, like a cold sensation run through the back of like your neck all the way down to your spine is what I'm getting here. Okay, whenever you're like providing yourself this uninhibited freedom is when your guides communicate with you the strongest. For a lot of you, your guides communicate with you when you're walking. Okay, when you're walking, you find things. Okay, or just information starts coming in for you. I'm getting birds, I'm getting butterflies, but heav heavily on a creative expression here. And for a lot of you, it has to do with writing and it has to do with body movement of some sort. For a lot of you, you have this artist mind. I'm getting this artist mind. And you receive a lot of messages when you kind of let go of that logical side of you. And you, and you get more connected to that creative side of yourself. Karma untying the knots. For a lot of you, I feel like you communicate with your guides. Your guides communicate a lot with you through um, geometric shapes. When you guys get out of your routine, your guides communicate with you when either you're thinking of get, stepping outside of the box or you're wanting to shake things up. That is when your guides come in the strongest, whenever you're like at the end of certain cycles. Okay. Pile number one also got karma um, as well with their guide so maybe if you feel drawn to pile number one as well definitely check it out but i do feel here that your guides don't play by the rules they don't i feel like the way you communicate with your guides is very unique it's very different okay is what i'm getting here like you have your own your own way yes birds is definitely a big one for you guys and <laughs> body movement yes body movement through dancing okay or they use your body like i feel like your guides use your body in some way okay to show you different things so you might get a pain in a certain side of your body and or you might get tension in your jaw for example or you might get um tingling tingling in your hands or something like this or you might get numbing um in your leg or things like that and they're saying when you get for someone here when you get when you get this um, sensation in your leg your guides are saying that is because movement is needed like you need to move forward with something okay and they're saying whenever we um kind of like get your hands numb that is when you need to kind of stop okay take a stop for others of you is to create so again how you how your guides like what is their direct message is going to be unique to every single one of you because like i tell the people that i coach our guides communicate with us in a very distinct way with every single one of us and it's like learning a new language and the more you connect with them the more you exercise that muscle so to speak the more fluent you will become in that um in that language with your guides for a lot of you uh, as well as ladybugs butterflies feathers and dragonflies and again with your hands something with your hands i don't know what it is but they're saying something with your hands and with your mind again when you let go of the logical side okay for a lot of you through arrows i don't know why i'm getting arrows maybe you see a lot of arrows 
through your mind, through your creativity, through your paintings, when you're daydreaming. Wow. Yeah, through your creative expression. When you're making a judgment call. Three of Pentacles. Even through people that you work with. Ladies Mantle, Mother Healing Alchemy. Through women in particular. Okay, I feel like your guides use females in particular to communicate with you. And yellow. Pile number one also got this. So again, if you if you felt drawn to pile number one, definitely go ahead and listen to that. But I do feel here for a lot of you, you do feel a lot of energy in your solar plexus um, when you <clears throat> when your guides communicate with you the most. Okay. And I feel like when you feel them the most is when you're making some type of a judgment call, when you're trying to get out of your comfort zone, when you're being asked to kind of shake things up. That is when you hear them the loudest. And through crystals. Sp specifically clear quartz. Yeah, whenever you're being asked to make changes, that is when they come in. They help guide you to make changes accordingly, especially when we're talking about your finances, okay, collaborations, work, or business. That's when they come in the strongest, okay? It doesn't have to just mean that, but for a lot of you, I feel like your guides, you have very very um strong guides like very powerful guides okay and i feel like they're saying they're wanting you to take more charge of your life to be a leader to do things more independently okay don't allow people to feel entitled to your energy is what i'm getting here you're going to communicate with you when you're in this period of solitude as well. Again, creativity. That's a big one. Whenever you're feeling restricted or like you have no power <clears throat> or control or ability to voice something, that is when your guides come in very strongly. Whenever you're in fear or whenever you are in these negative judgments or others are coming at you with negative judgments, that is when your guides show up for you. When you're going through healing periods, okay? And I feel like, yes, like a lot of... Um, hmm. Yes, because you guys are very, I feel like, very logical. You might be Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius are very spiritual, but they tend to kind of... Um, also be very logical as with any air sign libras too gemini's too we tend to be very logical and so you guys i feel like you guys think a lot through your stuff like you feel like to uh solve things you have to be very practical and very logical and i feel like when you let that side kind of um take a back seat for a little bit and that's when you're doing something creative or when you're engaging in something creative that is when your guides communicate with you or it's easier for them to communicate with you because again you're connecting with your creative side i feel like your guides communicate through your emotions and for a lot of you you might not be comfortable with that you might not be you might not be comfortable with your emotions. But your guides are actually saying you're more sensitive than you give yourself credit for. And they're saying whenever you feel victimized, I don't know why, but they're saying whenever you feel victimized by someone or by the systems that are in place, that is when, or you're being misled by others. I don't know, that's, that's coming through very strongly. But again, through a creative expression. There's something here when you're engaging in either painting or when you're focusing on something that you're very talented 
And that is when all your five senses start coming in. And that's when your guides come through. That is when you hear them the strongest. They also like using things like um, symbols as well. Because they're saying when you engage through these creative process or through these activities, that is when you're able to tap into this other dimension, into other realms. Yeah, you're able to kind of go through levels of consciousness. Okay, pile number three. I feel like you guys... Yeah, for a lot of you, it's different things. Because I'm getting writing. I'm getting books. I'm getting... Even when you're cooking. For a lot of you, you enjoy cooking. Painting. Or when you're gardening. That is when this deeper knowledge and wisdom starts to surface. And you're able to problem solve. And again, I feel like your guides also use a lot of um, authority, feminine energies around you to get a message across. Like they use these um, regal feminine authority figures to give you their message, okay? So they're saying pay attention to the older women that come into your life. Because they help you see what you cannot see. They help you also bring validation and truth to your intuition. So your guides use, again, artistic artistic um, activities. But also they use females in your life. To bring you a lot of messages. To bring you that soul guidance. Let me see anything else here. Especially Libras. They use a lot of Libras. Okay, they use a lot of Libras to kind of help you navigate and balance the scales. Because again, it's kind of like you, pile number three, you guys don't do very well with your emotions. Or you, you tend to get very overwhelmed. And so I feel like particularly your guides, or you might have strong Libra placements in your chart. But they're saying we use Libras to help you kind of balance or to learn certain things or to give you messages, okay, from us. Yeah, so... Also, when you're in a place of balance, when you're not in this so logical place and you're not in this emotional place, when you're like in your, in the, in like very balanced, that is when your guides, you can hear them the strongest. Also, whenever you feel out of balance, okay, when you feel out of balance, that is when I feel like that's when they're wanting to communicate with you the most, but it's hardest for you to hear them. Like that's the hardest time because you're not balanced. It's kind of like you're reaching out to source, but your guides are saying if you're not in balance, it'll be harder for you to hear us. But they do send you people. And for a lot of you, it's through clients too, because you might be in, um, in a position where you're of service to others. Regardless whether this is in spirituality or not, it could just be clients and whatever business or work that you do. I feel like they send other people. But they also said particularly Libras, okay? Libras bring the awareness is what I'm getting here. Or you might be working in an attorney office, I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like... Yeah, they help you get out of a cycle, something like... They're showing me like a spiral. I'm trying to see anything else here. You have many spirit guides. Pile number three. 
They're saying we're always with you, but we cannot interfere in your life lessons that you're meant to learn. So for you have guides that are just like, you might be even questioning like, why am I going through certain things, right? And they're saying, well, these are lessons that you're meant to learn. So we're there to kind of help you and offer you guidance, but we're not there to do the work for you. These are lessons that you got to learn, that you got to work through. Okay, pile number three. So that is what I have for you guys. So hopefully that resonated. I wish you guys the best. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Thank you very much for all of you who follow me on Instagram, on Patreon. Um, I really appreciate it. Patreon is $3 a month. And um, we, I have, I say we because we're a beautiful community over there. And we um, do... Once a week, I do card pulls for everyone who join in the live, get exclusive videos and exclusive content. So definitely check it out. But thank you very much for everything. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Um, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.